Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you stumbled and fell onto my channel, thank you. You're welcome. My name is Ronke and you can join the R Squad by subscribing down below, giving me a thumbs up. So today, of course, you can see by my makeup that this is the kind of look that you wear, you know, if you're going for Christmas brunch or like, you know, let's say like you kind of want to just go out and get some groceries. This is the kind of look that you would wear. Obviously not. <laughs> Obviously, all the pigments I use are by um, Dami Face Artistry, and I'm gonna leave all the links in the description bar below. I'm doing a seven day makeup challenge where I do a different makeup look that I've never done before every single day. So this video has been posted already at four o'clock. At 7.30 p.m. EST, I'm gonna post the Instagram video, and if you want to enter the giveaway, all you have to all do right. is go to let me know what you like most of my channel. Comment down below on this YouTube video, and comment on my Instagram video. Tag a friend on the Instagram video, and that is it. So it's very simple today. If you did not get any of what I was saying, it's gonna be in the description down below. Today, you have a chance to win the Kat Von D, all the Glimmer Veil. So I decided that I wanted to explain what I was doing because this look is pretty complicated. So first thing I did was make sure that my eyebrows are basically very, very stuck to my skin by using Elmer's glue. This gave me a nice base before I color corrected and put concealer. I put a couple of layers. I waited for each layer to dry before I put another layer. So I put about four to five layers of glue each time and I took off the excess glue. Then I went in with powder. This is the MAC and Patrick Star powder. I really love this powder and I've been using it since I got it. Then I go over that and color correct. Color correcting takes away the blackness of your eyebrows. So if you wanna try this look, please let me know. You know, I don't mind you guys trying this look because trust me, it's something that I've never done before, as I said. I've never done a no brow look, but I needed to do it. So after I'm done with color correcting, I just blend everything out with a sponge. I make sure I don't blend the eyebrows out too, too much. I just kind of pat it with the sponge. Then I use my foundation and I use my foundation all over my face. And as you can see now, my brows are blocked out. Now I highlight and contour like I usually would. I put the highlight color, which is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn. I put it on my nose, my chin, on top of my lip and under my eyes and I leave it on for a couple of seconds to get tacky before I blend it out. After I'm done with that, I just put on my contour. So as I'm waiting for the concealer to dry, I like to go in with my contour. I've been using the Match Master by MAC in shade 9 and I use this to contour. I'm going to blend it out with the sponge. As you can see, it's a very warm contour color, which is what I like. And I like it also because it's great for my nose contour. After I'm done with blending everything out, what I like to do is use my powder. This is the MAC Patrick Star powder again. And I bake under my eyes and around my nose area because I wanted a very heavy contour. Then I set every contoured area with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tan to Deep Powder Kit. And I set my forehead, I set my cheek area, basically just setting everywhere that I contoured. For this look, it's very neutral on the face because I'm using so much color on the eyes and on the lips. So now we're going to go into the color. So I use Dami Face Artist matte pigments these pigments are very pigmented i think i've said this so many times but very pigmented really easy to blend so i'm just going back and forth first with the orange color um i've looked at a lot of inspiration pictures to see what kind of color i wanted and i just wanted like a nice gradient from like an orange to a pink to a purple so that's exactly what i did so i started off with orange first and i laid the baking powder just so that um, any fallout will go on the baking powder and I'll be able to dust it off. Then I go in with the pink and I start connecting the pink with the orange. And you want to make sure that when you're blending, you don't blend too far. I use my brow as like a cursor, like a kind of like a demarcation to know where I'm putting the color. Then on the outer edge, I put purple. So on the front part of my brow, I put orange, then pink, then purple. And I just blended it all to, to each other and I made sure I went in with more color if needed. Sometimes the color will fade and I just put some more on. 
Now I'm using the NYX white liner. I've always loved a colorful look with a white liner. I just always felt like it popped and I never tried it because as I said in my last tutorial, I get really scared when I want to try new looks and I never try because of what people might say or like even with me, I, I doubt that I can even complete a look like this and like this has really shown me like what I can do. If you guys don't know, I used to draw and paint before and like I guess when I went into makeup, I kind of just lost that and just felt like makeup had to be like wearable all the time not art so here i am just popping the neon color in my inner waterline as you can see i'm feeling the look already <laughs> and i could have stopped here but of course who stops here like this is nothing so i went in with the nyx jumbo milk pencil i went all around my inner waterline then i packed on the blue color in the inner waterline and then the green on the outer corner and I wanted to make sure that it was a smooth blend so I blended all that out it looks pretty good so after I'm done with the blue I went in with green on the outer waterline also and I left the inner waterline white and I used the white liner for my bottom lashes because I really liked how this look came out and I also used it to make my lips neon so the same color i used in my inner corner i used on my lips and i just put it on the inside of my lips just kind of like the look i did yesterday then i highlighted to the gods i highlighted in my eyes i highlighted my cheek and i highlighted my nose because i still wanted it to be like this high shine kind of look and honestly when i started i didn't know where i was going but by the time i got here i knew what i wanted and I really do hope that you guys kind of get my vision you know it's makeup is fun here it's not all about just doing things that are necessarily wearable all the time um, and I hope you guys really do enjoy this tutorial don't forget to enter my giveaway and I will see you guys in my next tutorial have a great week and love you